we will talk about proteins what means high quality proteins which proteins are best for our body what means essential and non-essential amino acids let's start our diet consists of three components carbohydrates fats and proteins and they are called macronutrients we also eating minerals and vitamins but they called micronutrients uh, but carbohydrate carbohydrates fats and proteins are macronutrients because we consume them huge amount that's why and we will talk about proteins not carbohydrates and fats proteins proteins are molecules huge molecules and they consist of amino acids and we have 20 amino acids and this am out of these 20 amino acids 11 is non-essential what it means our body can synthesize these 11 amino acids but this 9 is essential it means that we should obtain them by diet we should obtain them as the amino acids for example if we eating bread and we get glucose we can synthesize 10 amino acids so we can synthesize 10 out of this 11 non-essential amino acids even if we eat only bread that's how important is our body's ability to synthesize amino acids from non-amino acid sources for example glucose that's this case but if we want to get these nine amino acids we should eat these nine amino acids that is why they are called essential amino acids and now let's take example of essential amino acids why it's important for example tryptophan is uh, important essential amino acid and it is precursor or it con it is converted to serotonin and serotonin is crucial neurotransmitter in our brain serotonin causes our mood stability our well-being with without or low level of serotonin person will have depression and serotonin is converted to melatonin and melatonin also manages sleep and awake cycle so without tryptophan we would have lack of serotonin lack of melatonin so we will have mood problems and sleep problems so that's how hugely important is essential amino acids also there are other amino acids which are essential for example lysine which is important uh, for protein synthesis for immune system function uh, that's why essential amino acids are very important and which person have um, deficiency of uh, amino essential amino acids such persons are who are highly dependent on one type of food uh, for example in low social economical uh, people uh, staple foods such as rice and maize of course they contain amino acids but they are not complete uh, and they lack of essential amino acids and such people uh, such people experience poor growth of children for example muscle loss fatigue brittle hair and weakened immune system and not in low social economical class people but also in modern diet people who eat one type of food mainly and this food uh, does not contain essential amino acids such, such people also experience deficiency of uh, essential amino acids and now let's say how much protein we require every day daily requirement for average person if you are not athlete or if you are not muscular person just ordinal person you need around 0 0.8 gram per kilogram so you should multiply your current weight uh, to 0 0.8 and you get how much 
how many grams of protein you need daily for example if person is 70 kilogram he needs around 60 gram of protein daily but here is huge difference if you are athlete if you are muscular if you are bodybuilder you need around two grams of protein per kilogram for example if person is 70 kilogram and he's bodybuilder or he's elite athlete he needs around 150 grams of proteins that's huge difference now let's say what is high quality proteins what means when we say high quality proteins we mean two components usually first is that such proteins contains all essential amino acids and second component is that such protein should be easily to absorb and easily to digest and the uh, majority uh, of this um, protein should be absorbed it means high quality protein so first is that uh, they contain all essential amino acids and they digest easily uh, and such food are egg uh, egg is classic egg is considered classic of protein even if we want to compare something to best protein we can take egg as a best protein and compare to it so egg is very important egg contains all amino or essential amino acids and egg is digested easily and majority of its protein is absorbed very easily that's why egg is classic of protein also chicken breast and chicken generally is good source of protein it also contains all essential amino acids fish and beef also and milk products like milk and cheese yogurt also especially greek yogurt contains all essential amino acids so we, we can remember so we can remember egg and chicken beef and fish and milk and cheese they all contain essential amino acids and now let's say what is example of not uh, not high quality low quality proteins for example majority of nuts and seeds contains lower quality of proteins why they are lower quality first is that they does not contain all essential amino acids for example walnut is very healthy it contains almost perfect components even omega-3 omega-9 it's perfect but it does not contain lysine for example which is essential amino acid so it is considered lower quality protein because you don't get all essential amino acids also for example absorption of nuts is not perfect because they contain dietary fibers that's why even you get amino acids and important amount of amino acids the absorption is not such good because of dietary fiber and now let's say what about veg vegetarians what vegetarians should eat to intake all essential amino acids uh, there is two important foods quinoa and tofu contains all essential amino acids so they can eat tofu and quinoa and they can get all essential amino acids here we also notice that it's not about vitamin b12 and vitamin b6 uh, which deficiency is also common among vegetarians it's not about vitamins it's about essential amino acids so if vegetarian wants perfect diet he or she should intake quinoa and tofu and he also need to intake vitamin b12 and b6 so uh, it's not about vitamins it's about essential amino acids we we should remember it uh, that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now